my first question is, uh, I'm going to focus on vulnerable populations and for the first set of questions specifically on senior citizens. And we know, and you know, Minister, that the best place for senior citizens is at home. All the science backs that up. Um, and yet, we also know that senior citizens have significant challenges accessing home care. In 20, your government committed $6 billion over 10 years uh, to provinces and territories to improve home care services. Um, do you have a, a good, good sense of what happened with that money? How is it being used? What is the result? And has it actually reached seniors on the ground? Well, thank you very much, Senator. And I'll just say, uh, and I'll turn it to Deputy Lucas, who may be able to uh, answer in more granular detail, but I'll just say you're absolutely right. I share your perspective that the best place to age is at home. We know that there are people with complex health conditions that do require a higher level of care, but that ultimately, I think it's everybody's dream to stay at home as long as possible and age in, in the comfort of their own home. Uh, you're right. That is why our government created uh, uh, an additional six billion dollars or committed an additional six billion dollars to try and foster increased access to home care across the country and it is very difficult i will say as the I'm still a new Minister of Health, but I will, I'm not a new minister. Uh, whenever these uh, large transfer amounts go to provinces and territories, it's very difficult to get a line of sight in terms of the granular details of how it's used. There are generally commitments by provinces and territories to measure outcomes. And so I'll turn to Deputy Lucas, who may have a better sense of, of whether or not we've had any reporting back from the 2017 commitment. Thanks. The, uh, the, funds, the funds under that commitment uh, were anchored on a common statement of principles uh, on these shared health priorities with provinces and agreed on a basket of areas uh, to focus investment, including in home care staffing and training, um, and then individual bilateral agreements with, with provinces, which do have uh, reporting requirements, um, including through reporting uh, done by the Canadian Institutes of Health Information. So we can certainly follow up in terms of specific um, areas where actions have been taken um, and the, uh, the information from the uh, CAIHI that's uh, uh, been provided to date. Thank you. I'm hearing both of you say that we don't know yet, but you will get me the answers or you'll get us the answers. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, I don't yeah. So I, 